Well, to the breaking news that we've been following for hours, a wildfire that has burned 50 acres in Buda. In the last hour, officials tell us that 17 structures were saved because of firefighters' efforts and help from aircraft. Now, right now, dozers are trying to improve the containment line along the fire's edge. KX stands at Sarah Alsheh is there live with information on how all of this started. Sarah. Officials tell me this fire started after a homeowner was cutting something with a saw and then the sparks lit the grass on fire. Now, as you can see behind me, it's still a very active scene. We're seeing a lot of pockets of smoke, a lot of pockets of fire still happening in this area right now. Now, crews say they were called out to Ruby Ranch Road a little after one in the afternoon. There was a pretty large response out here. All Hayes County Emergency Service districts came to assist the Buta Fire Department and Starflight was also also on scene making water drops. Officials with Texas A&M Forest Service tell me there's been no structure loss or damages to report, but earlier officials evacuated four homes nearby. They say out of an abundance of caution, but those people have since been allowed back. Now one couple who lives right by the fire says they never expected to see one this close to home and officials are warning people to make sure you take all necessary precautions while doing work outside got here as quick as I could and then realized that there was actually flames behind us. I called my son. I'm like, you need to grab this and this and this. <laughs> Do we have our birth certificates? Where are, where are all these things? Folks really need to be careful if they're going to be doing anything outside uh, that involves creating a spark in any way, whether it's, you know, uh, driving, you know, a hot engine in tall grass, uh, you know, or, or chainsawing, using heavy equipment and machinery. Uh, you got to be careful. You got to have a water source, fire extinguisher, uh, and you need to probably do those activities early in the morning when it's less hot and that humidity is higher. Now about three brush trucks will be out here tonight monitoring any of the hot spots, making sure nothing takes off. And then I'm told tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. is when more crews are going to come out here to assess the area. Back to you in the studio. All right, Sarah, thank you very much. And digging deeper into the state's wildfire threat, this is a real time look at the current fires burning across Texas. The red dots you see on this map from the Texas A&M Forest Service shows four fires, including Ruby Ranch. The Forest Service just raised the wildfire preparedness level to level three due to current and expected wildfire activity across several regions of the state. And the most recent fire near our area was out in Llano County last week. On Thursday, you'll remember the Moore Peak fire grew quickly. It is now out, but it did burn more than 700 acres. And we should mention Hayes County is under a burn ban, and as of today, so are Travis and Williamson counties. You can find a running list of other places in our area with similar restrictions over on KXAN.com.